home. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and today we're gonna go ahead and get into tearing down the RTX 3090 that was bricked by New World. If you aren't up to date, you can definitely go back and check out the rest of the parts in this vlog, as well as us trying to post on a test bench where we heard a pop and some burning smells. So, good news is, we probably are gonna see some physical damage here. We'll get into it right after a word from our sponsor. At this point, most of you should be familiar with today's sponsor, Prime XBT. As such, they want me to take this time to provide a short update on the Prime XBT platform. If you remember, they have a fantastic copy trading module where you can follow the strategies of established traders. There has been massive volatility in the market recently, but you can find traders that make money on both sides of the market and follow their strategies. It doesn't matter if the market is going up or down, there are always opportunities. Pay attention to the descriptors. For example, if the word short is contained within the name, it's likely the trader is on the bearish side of the market, and during a falling market, it's better to follow a strategy strategy where the trader leans towards trading bear markets. Register an account with Prime XBT, take a look and do your own research. The platform contains many statistics to help determine which trader suits your style, but ultimately it's your decision on how you invest. Remember, any form of investing comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Use promo code SONOFATECH at sign up for a 50% bonus. So here is the RTX 3090. And we're just going to get it torn down. Got the iFixit toolkit here. Definitely go pick one up if you guys don't have one. Super handy dandy. I'll leave the affiliate link to Amazon to purchase it down in the description. So I can get a kickback or whatever. And let's get this flipped over. So... We have to remove this essentially because... you have to install the stock cooler back on before you can send it off to EVGA for replacement. Because them's the rules. Good news is that means we can see what happened. Hopefully. I took this part a lot, but I'll be frank, I don't remember everything or the order necessarily. Because I believe, well this should come off, right? Yep, yep. I was kind of curious if there's anything, I don't see anything on this side. All right. Let's go ahead and get the cooler removed. I don't remember if I have to do a back plate on this either. All right, and last one. Let's take a look. Oh, nope, there's one more here. Sneaky. I think that should cover it all. A 
been on there for a while now, so it might take a bit to come off. Let's get something to slowly pry it. I always hate this part. All right. No more screws. Verified there. There we go. Now it's coming. Thought this would come out, but. There we go. Let's get the two fans unplugged here. Fan connectors unplugged. And last one. And there we go. All righty. So now that that's off, let's see if we see anything. The caps. Huh. I don't necessarily see anything. Might have to get under better light. Thought it would have been pretty obvious with the pop happening that we would see either some burn marks or figure out, you know, which one. But without a multimeter, I don't think I'm going to be able to visually spot anything here. Oh, wait, hold on. There it is. Nope. Take that back. Okay, I'm not seeing anything necessarily. Let's get some pictures of it and see if anybody online can spot it. I don't have my phone on me. So I will get back to it. I'm going to look a little bit more. I feel like... Comes in off of here. If it was caps, it'd be a long one of these. If you could figure out, you'd have to get essentially, like I said, a multimeter, I guess, and go through it. Okie doke. Well, I'm not seeing anything, boys. I'm going to get put back together uh, with the original cooler and ship it off to EVGA, but I don't see any physical... I don't see any physical damage, um, clearly, that would give me any indicators. I'm pretty sure it's a cap, like you guys said in the comment section below on the last video. You're probably correct, but we'll get some close-up shots of this as well real quick. All right. Thanks for watching guys. I was hoping that we would be able to see something visually to give you guys an idea of what exactly went wrong. Uh, I think that definitely if we got this off to somebody in the, you know, actual hardcore overclocking or somebody like that, we could probably get multimeters on here and figure out exactly which cap blew, that sort of thing. Uh, at this point though, I'll probably just take some pictures of it, throw it up online. If I get an idea and somebody points out and says, oh, there's the damage right there, then we'll come back to the vlog and give that to you guys. Other than that, though, 
we'll just end it here then, and I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.